Hello, little fishy. Let me say happy birthday to you. You are one year older, and this year, 2011, is going to be a dynamic and amazing year for the Pisces. Last year, your character and charisma expanded, your courage expanded. This first six months, you're going to raise your prices, set yourself up for some major manifestation. And later this year, you go to market. It's time to go to the world with your message. I have a special offer for you this birthday, Pisces, a reading special. You can get a 90-minute reading for the price of one hour. That's $50 off my normal cost. I am here to help you manifest the reality you want. With a personal chart reading, we can get to the bottom of what might be holding you back, where you're sabotaging yourself, what your karma is, where is your true love. These are the answers I have for you. So if you're interested in getting deep and maximizing on the planet vibrations of the year, you can email us at readings at soulgarden.tv or visit our reading webpage at livelovebee.tv. Hope to read you soon. Hello, Pisces, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, sunny and super cool for the Pisces. How's it feel? We're coming off a love fest day in the last 24 hours. As the day starts off, you should be feeling pretty lovey-dovey. Hopefully, you're loving yourself, loving your character, loving your personality. It took seven years to get to this place, incidentally. Today's a day of expressing your personality. Don't be too surprised if you don't get called into soul service, which means that somewhere, someone needs empathy, someone needs understanding, someone needs a little bit of that magic in the moment which is what Pisces do. This is an excellent day, of course, for asserting your will. So being persuasive, sales, getting the job, getting the girl. That's what the moon in your sign does for you. Now, zip into the sun. The sun is in chapter two today of Sun and Aries. This month, the Pisces are working on their soul capital. Yesterday, I advised you to take steps away from any behavior or thoughts or attitudes that depreciate your self-esteem or your uh, soul capital. Today, we want to hold space. How valuable do you feel? Where are your finances? How productive are you? Today is a day of assessing where we are so far. As we move into and through the weekend with Lightcast Day on Sunday, it will be time to determine what value you want to reach. So in an effort of understanding what value you want to reach or what you want to manifest, where are you today? Assess where you are today. Make a list if you have to. Now, in the next couple of days also, you're going to find a real shift in your masculine energy. Mars is coming out of your sign. So right now, your aggressive masculine energy is very machismo. It's very ego-driven. But that's going to move into uh, Aries in the next few days. And what that's going to do is kind of activate you stepping into, you taking action with this new soul capital. So because of Mars conjuncting Uranus, you're going to tell the universe, I want this level. And you're going to go for it almost at the same time. Usually in transits, we go for it a little bit later in chapter 3, maybe even the next uh, sun in the next sign, but you're going to be going for that value right away. So get ready to rock. And it's Thursday. We've got Sadiqa Salters, renegade aromatherapist going live today. Today, Sadiqa is going to talk about Jade Cypress, a new plant or a plant essence that will help you with raising your soul capital. She has chosen this plant to align with the Aries vibration. Sadiqa is live everywhere Soul Garden streams. All right, my Pisces, that's all I have for today. But tomorrow, we've got a moon conjuncting Mars. Things are going to fire up. Until then, live, love, be. So